Making and enjoying a good cup of coffee is just one of those things that really enhances my experience while I'm out in the woods. It's like a ritual to take the time to make the coffee and then just sit back and enjoy it and not have to think about too much else at the time. But you know, a lot of the methods that I choose for making coffee aren't always the most convenient. Some are quite easy to use, but they all involve some weight and some effort in order to make the coffee. Instant is definitely an option, uh, but I have not yet really found an instant that I can say equals at least fresh roasted and fresh ground coffee. So what other alternative is there out there? Well, I came across a product recently that I thought you might be interested in see, and it's not your normal coffee. In fact, that's the name of it. No normal coffee. If you're interested in hearing my thoughts on this product, keep watching. All right, just before we get started, I want to thank Alexander and Philippe at No Normal Coffee for sending out their product. This is the first product from the No Normal Coffee company. Just came out of Kickstarter, just been released for public sale, and I've been very fortunate to have them send me a tube so that I could share it with you. So what's this all about? I mean, it looks like a tube of toothpaste, and essentially you'd be right about that. This is a tube of a highly concentrated coffee paste that you will dissolve dissolve in hot water. So what you're getting here is 100 grams of this concentrated coffee paste. You use five grams of it at a time, about a teaspoon, in about a half a cup of water, a little less than half a cup, 100 grams or 100 milliliters of water. And you get something that probably is best described as a an espresso. This is a very dark roast. That's their first flavor. They will come up with other flavors in the future. And it's kind of like an espresso, an instant espresso paste. And that's basically what it is. So you get 20 servings at that combination, 20 servings per tube of this paste. Um, all natural ingredients, lightly sweetened it with beetroot sugar. I'll talk about how that impacts the flavor in a few moments time and it couldn't get any more convenient. Put a little bit of this on a spoon, stir it into some hot water, and you're good to go. If you want to add more sugar or cream or whatever, you can do so on top of that. If you want to water it down a little bit to make it a little less concentrated, a little less strong, kind of like an Americano would be, you can do that as well. Or you can make it stronger if you want to add extra on the spoon when you stir it into the water. All right, it's just that simple. So why don't I demonstrate it and then we'll do a taste test. Here it goes. This is all there is to making this coffee. So I'm going to put what I believe to be a teaspoon, right? It's kind of hard to judge. Do you see on this spoon? That's probably a little bit more than a teaspoon would be, but uh, well, experiential thing, right? To figure out just what you want. The more you use, the less, the less servings you're going to get out of this. All right, I'm done. That's it. All well dissolved. Put the cap back on for the next time. Now that's still quite hot, so I'm going to give it a moment to cool off, but I'm going to set up my little chair, and uh, we'll sit down and talk and give it a taste test. All right, let's do a taste test. Another one. All right, now I can certainly enjoy drinking this when I'm out here in the woods. Now, having said that, it's not going to replace my regular coffee. This is does not have all the same flavor profile of a regular fresh roasted, fresh ground coffee made with an AeroPress or a, a, you know, a mocha pot or anything else. It's more than instant. I mean, I've tried a lot of instant, some very high quality instant coffees at much greater price than this is. I'll talk about price in a moment. It's not an instant, but it's still not a fresh roasted, fresh ground coffee. Now, maybe that's the best way to say it. It has a good coffee flavor, not overly strong at the concentration I made it, which was, as I mentioned, about a teaspoon per half a cup of water. Not overly strong, but not bad either, not weak. Like you don't, you don't feel like I need to add more to it to make it stronger. I think what I would say is the one con for me personally, and this may not apply to everybody, is it's got a sweetness to it. And they do say that in their literature, and it says so right on the tube, what it's sweetened with, beetroot sugar from Switzerland. Um, I just, I like my coffee black. I don't add cream, I don't add sweetener, 
and uh, well, okay, rarely, I'd, I'll, occasionally I'll do something special with it, like adding cheese. You've seen that in other videos. But if I'm just drinking a cup of coffee by itself, I, I like it black. So the sweetness to me is a bit distracting. Now, if you like sugar in your coffee, you'll love this. It's not, in fact, you, if you like sugar, you may want to add more. This is very lightly sweetened with sugar. If there was one recommendation, recommendation I'd make to the company, No Normal Coffee, is to see if they can come out with another version of this that does not have a sweetener added. Now, sweetener. Now, we're not talking about a lot of sugar here. As you know, I'm on a ketogenic diet, and I try to reduce carbs down to a very low limit. Sugars, I try to eliminate to the best of my ability. You can't, you can't help it sometimes. They're going to sneak in somewhere. And uh, sometimes you just have to say, I'm willing to have a little bit of sweetness if I want to have this product and like this coffee would be 1.5 grams of sugar which is about 12 grams of carbohydrates I think that's what it is in the one cup or one serving so it's not a lot but it's there and, and I can taste it there so that's what I'd have to say about it now I want to talk about first off price and then I want to talk about some of the other cool things you can do with this coffee uh, the cost right now in Canada is $24 a tube, so that's coming out to a little bit more than a dollar, well, dollar forty per cup if you look at, uh, uh, no, sorry, 10, 11, 12, 12 cups, or 12, dollar 20, that's correct, Mark, <laughs> per cup. Math was never my, my great suit. A uh, dollar twenty per cup of coffee if you go by the formula five grams per hundred grams of water. So that's not bad. That's not overly bad. Shipping is high right now to Canada. However, you can do a lot better if you take two or three, three tubes actually. It takes three tubes. If you get above fifty-five dollars, uh, then it's free shipping. So if you feel this is something you're going to enjoy having, then you might as well buy three. In fact, if you buy three, or if you buy four, you get the fifth one free. You know, it actually gets less expensive, of course, the more you buy. But, uh, you know, if you, to get one tube and pay as much again in shipping for it, no, it's $21 a tube. The shipping cost me was $24, that's what it was. So it's a little less per cup. Uh, it's, it's not bad price-wise per cup of coffee if you don't add in the shipping. So you, you really need to go to the free shipping if you think you're going to enjoy this. Uh, I just wanted to mention that about cost. Here's the other thing. This is not restricted to be added hot water. You, if you like iced coffee or cold brew coffee, you can add it to cold water and have a cold drink. You can add it to any number of drinks. So if you want to mix it in a smoothie to get a, a coffee flavor and a little bit of caffeine in there, then you can do that. If you want to eat this by itself, you can do that. Just put it on your finger and taste it quite strong. I'll tell you that it's it's a strong flavor, but not a bad flavor. In fact, I kind of liked it. Um, you can put it on other foods, put it on chocolate, put it on strawberries. <laughs> you can put it on just about anything that you might think that you like a, a coffee flavor on. So it has some versatility. It also doesn't require refrigeration. It's going to be fine out here in the woods. Put it in my food bag, leave it there, and, and replace all my instant coffees that I would normally carry for emergency backups and you could do it that way. So it has some versatility there as well. And did I mention it's made in Switzerland? A new product to this company, new company altogether, and their intent is to come out with other flavors. I don't know if they're talking about lighter roasts or, or different profiles. And again, if there, if there is one suggestion ahead for the company is to see if they can come out with an alternative. They may not be able to through the formulation of how this is made, but something that doesn't have any sugar, you know, I, I'd actually like it a little darker, a little bit more bitter, like a true espresso might be. But I like it, and it is a nice alternative to instant coffees. When you don't have the time to make a proper coffee, we'll say, then this makes a great alternative. Okay, that's all I have for you. If you have any comments or questions, put them in the comments section. If you would like to know more about this coffee, I'll be putting the links where you can take another look at it in the video description. But until next time, get out and explore and take that path less traveled because it will make all the difference. Bye for now.